everybody welcome back to my channel today we start the epic adventure that is reading the nominees for the best book of the year I'm gonna leave the video from last year up here in the cards in case you want to go check it out but basically what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna read the nominees for the best thriller slash mystery of the year 2020. Last year I didn't manage to read them all and I did say that some other book wins I would do a separate vlog for that one book which was what happened last year so this year is gonna be the same thing if I don't manage to read them all and then one of the books that I didn't read wins I'll be reading that one book at a later stage. So I have my laptop here and together we're gonna find out what are the nominees how many have I read and how many I have to read and then hopefully I'll be ordering the ones that I don't have so I can start reading them and it's gonna be fun today is like the 3rd of November or the 2nd of November I don't know days what are days it's 15 okay the boy from the woods Harlan Coben I think this guy also had a book last year in the competition we have the guest list by Lucy Foley I do have this book I haven't read it we have winter count never heard of it the devil and the dark water never heard of it the searcher never heard of it when no one is watching I am looking forward to read this I don't remember if I have it already I don't think I do the wives I don't have it you are not alone I've read this one one by one by Ruth Ware it's on my radar obviously long bright river haven't read it but I know the title blacktop wasteland the sundown motel I've heard about it don't know what it's about though unspeakable things don't know anything and now she's gone don't know anything and home before dark by Rayleigh Sager so from these 15s I've only read one and I have one on my current bookshelf so I have a lot to be ordering I need to go rewatch my video from last year because I do remember that in the final it was 10 I don't remember I need to double check I remember that at some point they add some extra books to it and then those books are up for voting but those extra books never make it to the final so whatever comes after this they won't make it to the final I won't be reading them but I don't remember if these 15 go to the final or if they still narrow it down to 10 I think they do so I'm gonna have a quick look on my vlog from last year because I remember I explained that in the video and I'm gonna find out and then I'll be ordering some of these books yeah exciting let's get the party started this round is going up until November 8th and then semi-final round November 10 to 15 semi-final is probably when they add five more and they become 20 and then the final rounds they'll probably be narrowed down to 10 I think it was that but like I said I'll double check the final round will be going from November 17 to November 30 the winners will be announced in December 8 it's so weird because December 8 seems like it's so far away but we're gonna be here still recording this vlog today is the 10th of November which means it's the semi-final round for the Goodreads Choice Awards I already have it here open on the computer but I haven't looked yet last time we spoke on the day where this vlog started we had 15 nominees I went to check with my notes from last year to see if it was the same amount of rounds and it is so now I expect it to be 20 nominees let me just have a quick count it's 20 exactly so we now have 20 nominees now if this is like it was last year and I believe all the years before that what happens is that they now add five nominees to the categories but those five that are added don't actually make it to the final they just don't make it to the final <laughs> so it's a bit pointless and no one really understands why Goodreads works there prices like that but whatever let's find out now the question is do I remember what was here already and what wasn't because I didn't write them down and then I tried doing that a couple of days later but because it was closed you could no longer see it I don't know why they removed it from their page but whatever, whatever, whatever. so I don't think this one was there confessions on the 745 by Lisa Hunger the night swim I think it's also new all the devils are here Louise Penny also new I think troubled blood also new I think first girl gone I think it's also new. Yeah, so I think those were the five new ones. Nothing that I have on my shelves yet. And the only one that I've heard, like mentioned, was The Night Swim by Megan Golden. Also, last time after recording the update, I tried buying some of these books. I went on Amazon and I went on Waterstones and I tried buying them. However, most of these haven't come out in the UK yet. Most of them will still come out this year, but they haven't yet. And some others, they already came out, but only on the hardback version, which means they cost like £25. Obviously, I'm not gonna buy books for £25. 
and some others don't even come out in the UK until next year. Which is a problem because I'm not gonna be able to have the books and you know I like to have the physical book even though I end up reading them with the audiobook. Basically what I'm gonna have to do is that I'm gonna have to listen to the audio for most of them. I have the guest list, I had this one already, and I did order When No One Is Watching by Alisa Cole, that was on my radar anyway, it was something that I wanted to read, so I did order that one. And I did order The Boy From The Woods by Harlan Coben. Now the other ones, I'm gonna have to listen solely to the audiobook. Also, Joanna told me the other day, and then Philippa confirmed, and we were all talking about it, that this other book, The Devil and the Dark Water by Stuart Turton, do you know who Stuart Turton is? Let me show you. Are you ready to find out who Stuart Turton is? <laughs> He's the author of The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle that I gave one star to. This was so interesting in the beginning, and then... No. It just got super duper confusing and hard to follow. Maybe I just read it like in a rush and I should have taken my time with it. I don't know. So I'm a bit scared thinking that I'm going to be reading another of his books. Maybe if he passes to the final. So I'm scared about that. Let's see when the finalists get announced. So a week from today, the finalists are going to be announced. The 10 finalists are going to be announced. And then I will have from that day onwards until the 30th to read all the 10 <laughs> books and then vote on the one that I think is best. <laughs> I haven't been reading a lot recently so I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'm gonna start by reading the guest list just because it's the one book that I have and hope, fingers crossed, it will make it to the 10 finalists and then I'll probably read the two that I ordered. I'm really excited to read the new Rayleigh Sager one as well but that's gonna be on audio. I don't know, I'll keep you posted. I'm gonna have to start reading soon if I wanna be able to read the 10 until the 30th. The thing is, there is still no guarantees which ones are gonna be in the 10 and if I start reading something and then it doesn't make it to the 10 then it was just a waste of effort. Anyway, I'll see you in a couple of days when something happens, either the finalists get announced or I start reading, which hopefully will happen before that. I don't know, wish me luck, I'll see you soon, bye! Hello everyone, it's a couple of days later, today is Sunday, the final how many semi-final is the final? I don't know. The next round is going to be happening on Tuesday. And I've started, finally, not today, yesterday, the day before, I don't know, but I've started the first book that I'm reading, which was the only one that I had on my shelves, which is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. And I've been reading a lot of it. Me and Philippe have been doing some reading sessions together with the computer. We just turn our camera on and we read and that motivates us both to read. And today I've spent the entire morning cleaning the house, cleaning bathrooms, vacuuming the entire thing, doing laundry, all those things. So I've been listening to the audiobook and I listened to the equivalent of 100 pages. So I'm now on page 200. It's exactly halfway through. I'm really enjoying this book and now, as you can see, I'm on the sofa. I stole one of Josh's hoodies from NASA. I love oversized hoodies so that's why I like wearing his clothes because I love large clothes on me. <laughs> and I have a nice fluffy blanket on me and I'm gonna listen to a bit more. Josh just went to take Suki outside for her daily walk and I'm gonna stay here and enjoy the coziness and the quiet and the peacefulness. The heating is on so in a moment everything is gonna be nice and toasty and all right, let's carry on reading and I'll update you at the end of the book. I'm gonna try and finish this the latest tomorrow, but hopefully I'll finish it today, but no promises. You know how it works, right? All right, bye! What is up, my people? It's so cold. I was downstairs and the heating downstairs was not turned on. And I'm really cold, so I just came upstairs and I got my hoodie back on and it's so cold. I am so cold. My hands are freezing, my body is freezing. <laughs> anyway, I was on the sofa and I finished reading this. I finished reading this. Does it ever happen to you that like you put the dust jackets back on the books and you don't realize any inside the book is upside down? I'm giving it four stars. This is about a wedding that is happening in a remote island in Ireland and all the friends from years ago are going to the island to be part of the wedding, obviously. Their secrets from the past and things that happened and everyone ends up being related somehow from the past things they've done and it's very good, it's very gripping, really short chapters, I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it four stars, it's not the book of my life but it's a very good book. I wouldn't be mad if this wins the Goodreads Choice Awards 
but I don't know, probably won't, but I wouldn't be mad. Tomorrow we're gonna have the final 10 nominees nominated, revealed. <laughs> what are words so i'm excited so far i've read two books so i hope the other eight are like other eight and that these two books that i actually read are still on the run so i only need to read eight instead of reading ten wish me luck i'll talk to you tomorrow this was my very short quick update i'll talk to you tomorrow once we know what the ten final nominees are and yeah hopefully i'll be able to read everything until the end of the month okay i'll speak to you tomorrow bye did I wanted to record this clip earlier? Yes. Did it happen? Clearly not. Today is Tuesday, 17th of November. Today we have the 10 finalists of the Goodreads Choice Award. It's the day we've all been waiting for. So let's click it. Let's open it. I've been waiting the whole day to go and look what the finalists are because I wanted to record and yes, I've been waiting the whole day. Okay, let's go. Please let the two books that I've read so far be on the finalists so I don't feel like I wasted my time. I'm gonna go straight into checking those. What? No, what? No, 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 no. You are not alone. Is not on the list. No. So now I need to read nine books because at least the guest list is here. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? All right, so the finalists are When No One Is Watching by Alisa Cole, One by One by Ruth Ware. I was gonna say Tana French by The Searcher, but no, The Searcher by Tana French. The Sandown Motel by Simone St. James. The Boy from the Woods by Harlan Coben. The Devil and the Dark Water by Stuart Sturton. The Guest List by Lucy Fully. The Wives by Taryn Fisher. Home Before Dark by Rayleigh Seiger. And lastly, Long Bright River by Lise Moore. I need to read nine books until the end of the month. <laughs> Are you ready for this adventure? I'm not, especially because I don't have the books. I'm gonna have to listen to the audiobook only, probably try and find the ebooks just so I have somewhere for my eyes to fall into. <sighs> Wish me luck, this is not gonna be fun. I don't know if you watched my video from last year, but I had this cool thing in my bullet journal with the post-it notes and like I could organize them in order and there was a table as well where I could keep track if they were from the library or which format I had them. So I did put here one post-it for each of the nominees, but now let's reduce it to 10. Did I get 10? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Woo! Who has a great memory? Who is? <laughs> it's me. All right, so one down, nine to go. Let the games begin. Hello everybody, it's been a few days and this vlog is becoming... I mean, it has become already a bit of a flop because, like you know, my intention was to read the 10 finalists and then vote accordingly. However, I had other vlogs to do in between and I had other books to read in between and so I didn't manage to read anything else since I read the guest list. So I only read one out of the 10. I wanted to read at least one more just so this wouldn't be a complete flop but then I still had other things to read and I was like why should I force myself to read things if like the whole concept of the vlog already failed might as well just completely change the whole thing so what I decided to do was waiting for the winners to be announced and then read that book unless if it's the guest list and that's what we're gonna do. The winners have been announced today. It's the 8th of December. I haven't looked yet. I wanted to do it here with you guys. So here we have the Goodreads thing. Let's select Mystery Thriller. And let's find out and then I'll be reading that one book today. <laughs> the winner is actually the guest list. So I guess that's the end of this vlog. <laughs> it's interesting that from all 10, I read one and I managed to read the winner. It was a four star for me. I didn't find it anything special. It had 73,605 votes. Wow, wow, the difference to the second place. In second place, it came Home Before Dark by Riley Sager and it only had 35,000 votes. So the guest list had more than double the votes. That is shocking. What the heck? Oh my God, between second place and third place, the difference is just 16 votes. 16 votes among thousands. Yeah, and then 33, 31, 25, 23, 23, 22, 21. Who came in last place? First girl gone with only 855 votes. All right, that is it. I mean, I guess I could read the second one, but again, what's the point? It doesn't do anything for this whole concept. 
I guess that's that. This is the end of this vlog. I wasn't expecting it to be over so suddenly, so abruptly, but I guess it was. Anyway, I guess I'll see you soon here on my channel with another video. I am really sorry that I didn't manage to do this vlog as I intended, but next year we shall try again. I'll see you later. Bye!